Hey, how's it going everybody? I hope you're all good. This is Peter Gargan speaking, and for this video, I wanted to talk about future possibilities for the Donkey Kong series. 2021 will mark the 40th anniversary of the 1981 arcade original, so I thought it would only make sense if Nintendo celebrated quite possibly one of the most important games in their history. So, let's not waste any more time and get into it. The first idea I had is probably the least realistic one considering current circumstances, and that would be a new 2D platformer developed by Retro Studios to continue what they started with both Returns and Tropical Freeze. Considering how Retro are busy with development on the highly anticipated Metroid Prime 4 right now, I really don't see this idea happening anytime soon. The only way I could see it being possible is if Retro Studios have expanded in size enough to the point where they can have more than one team working on different projects. So one works on Prime 4, while the other division is doing Donkey Kong Country. But again, I don't think that's the case, as I don't work there. Nor do I really know what I'm talking about when it comes to development in general. With that being said, I don't think it would be logical if we never saw another Donkey Kong Country in that style again, considering how well Returns and Tropical Freeze have performed sales-wise. Metroid Prime 4 also seems to be a long way away before it will be ready for its big reveal but ideally I'd like to see Retro working on the next 2D Donkey Kong eventually, as they've proven their worth. If this were to happen, however, I think it would complete a hypothetical reboot trilogy that would have started with Returns, seeing as the rare titles on Super Nintendo got up to three entries. Perhaps we could see the long overdue return of the Kremlings, especially after we've seen King K. Rool's resurgence in popularity ever since his inclusion in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. There are many directions that a new 2D game could take, and the developers' imaginations are pretty much the limit, but I certainly don't want to see the DKC series ending anytime soon, especially as I consider them superior to the modern 2D Mario titles. One thing I wanted to touch on is that Nintendo was seemingly planning on making a Donkey Kong themed attraction for the Super Nintendo World theme park with Universal. Seeing as we've only been shown Mario so far, the fact that the next attraction that has been practically confirmed at this point will be based on Donkey Kong just shows how important the big ape is to Nintendo. It is for this reason why I feel like it would be rather odd to not have any DK related games to also be in the works at the same time. Granted, Donkey Kong is technically part of the greater Mario universe due to both franchises sharing the same origin, but thanks to the likes of Donkey Kong Country and Diddy Kong Racing, it's also got to a point where it can still be considered a separate entity. The fact that it's getting this kind of special attention at Universal before the likes of Zelda, Animal Crossing, Pikmin and Splatoon seems to point towards a promising future, due to the kind of mainstream attention that a theme park attraction will, well, attract. Enjoying the video so far? Don't forget to subscribe to the Peter Gargan channel for more content on the world of Nintendo and any other games I happen to be interested in talking about. We're really close to hitting 700 subscribers, so any extra support will be greatly appreciated. With that out of the way, let's crack on with the rest of the video. This is probably the most unrealistic idea that will be suggested in this video, but one title that I always found to be overlooked and deserving of a modern successor was the game that was simply titled Donkey Kong but this is the one that was released on the original Game Boy in 1994. Obviously when I say that, I didn't actually grow up with it since that was 5 whole years before I was even born, but I've played it on the 3DS Virtual Console and I think it still holds up, and it baffles me that there hasn't really been another game like it since. Basically, it follows the structure of the original 1981 arcade classic, but it branches out into a full length adventure with different worlds and new gameplay mechanics with actual puzzles expanding on Mario's moveset two years before Super Mario 64 made it cool. You could argue that this game's legacy lives on through the Mario vs Donkey Kong series, but I think there's a bit of a difference between guiding around a group of miniature toys based on Mario's likeness, and controlling Mario's actions himself, and that's why I'd like to see this specific structure return in the modern era. Perhaps as a smaller eShop release like other Nintendo published puzzle games such as Snipper Clips and Box Boy, And now, it's time for the idea that I think most fans would like to see, and that's a brand new 3D platformer set in the world of Donkey Kong. The only time this idea ever really became a reality so far 
was with Donkey Kong 64 in 1999, developed by Rare, who also worked on the original Donkey Kong Country trilogy on the Super Nintendo, and I always thought it was a shame that the concept of a 3D Donkey Kong platformer has never really been revisited since, as it would have so much potential in today's climate of gaming. This is partially because we have seen a recent resurgence in the 3D platformer collectathon genre, with titles such as Super Mario Odyssey, A Hat in Time, and the remasters of the original Spyro and Crash Bandicoot trilogies reminding us of why we loved them as kids in the first place, and there is now more demand than ever for more franchises to follow in their footsteps, and I think Donkey Kong would be an ideal choice. Sure, many would argue that DK64 wasn't exactly perfect, but that's why I think Nintendo could make an all new game that improved on its shortcomings. The 2D titles have established that Donkey Kong is all about colourful worlds with exquisite level design, so why not take these strengths to make an ambitious 3D adventure that could potentially be up there with the Switch's greatest original offerings? This is the type of project that I could see being handled by the same team that worked on Mario Odyssey at Nintendo EPD. Before the merge between EAD and SBD, the specific division based in Tokyo worked on both Donkey Kong Jungle Beats and the Super Mario Galaxy games, so I don't think it would be too far-fetched for the same team to be working on a 3D Donkey Kong that could take certain inspiration and assets from Odyssey, especially since that game also made several references to Donkey Kong's history, something that didn't happen as frequently in past main series Mario games, so it could very well be something on their minds. The Odyssey team have proven to be capable of reigniting hope in the future of 3D platformers, and I'd love to see them taking on the world of Donkey Kong and making something refreshing out of it. Anyway, that just about does it for this video, I hope you've enjoyed it. What would you like to see in Donkey Kong's future going forward? Let me know in the comments if you have any ideas of your own. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, see you later.